Buddhists visit a temple in Gansu province's town of Lichian. But why does this place look like St. Peter's Basilica, the Catholic Church affiliated with the Pope? Li Qian's claim to fame is that some people believe that its residents have traces of Roman lineage in their blood. In 53 BC, the Parthians defeated the Romans in the Battle of Kerry, taking prisoners who later settled on the eastern border, later residing in Li Qian. But is it true? One thing is for certain, the Lichian locals don't always look typically Chinese. But a report in the Journal of Human Genetics concluded that after DNA testing, the connection with Roman blood could not be proved. Are these bones evidence? A guide at the Museum of Yongchang explains that the 2,000-year-old skeleton is taller than the average Chinese person. But even she admits that there's little evidence to justify the Roman lineage hypothesis. But does it matter if Li Qian's population really descended from the Romans? The narrative brings in the tourists, and the local government is too busy promoting this connection to worry that the rumor may be false. There are even plans for a Roman Colosseum replica. But recently, China's fakes have caused anger. Earlier this year, the Sphinx replica in Hobei was destroyed shortly after Egyptians began complaining about it. Even within China, reconstructed tourist zones often draw mixed responses from the tourists. Of course, other people still love it. So in the end, maybe some things will prove more important than authenticity or even DNA proofs.